Dean, congratulations on your induction in the, into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. I have a few questions I want to ask you about your background. The first one is, uh, what individuals had the greatest influence on you and your coaching? Well, uh, as far as my coaching is concerned, uh, I was at Vanessa Junior College and uh, there was a, a, several wrestlers that were in school at the time and there was no wrestling program and they came to me and they said we need a coach that was my coaching background right there and the Dean congratulations on your induction into the California Wrestling Hall of Fame we want to ask you a few questions about your wrestling background the first is what individual or individuals had the greatest influence on your coaching career? Well, the way I started, uh, Stan Pafko was a football coach, and he, uh, he, he pulled me in there from Modesto High School to help him with the football program, and, and there were several uh, members of the football team that were, had been wrestlers in the high school, and there was no football uh, wrestling program at Modesto Junior College. And that's the way we started. G.W. Uh, Wingo, who yeah. was also inducted here a couple of years ago uh, from Oakdale High School, was an excellent wrestler. And so he and a few few youngsters from Houston High School, Ed Jolly was the was the coach uh, in that area and developed some wonderful wrestlers. So those people are the ones that had the first influence on me. Dean, who is, who is or was your idol? Well, actually, I didn't know much about wrestling to begin with. Uh, and I, I didn't have an idol. To, yeah. I, I just went in and I was trying to satisfy these youngsters and their, their hunger for wrestling. And, and we developed the program. And there was no idol that I had in my mind that was the greatest. And I wanted people to be like that person. Uh, as the years went by, I s certainly got some in influence on different wrestlers uh, that uh, had great careers, Olympic and otherwise, and I sort of attached myself to them, but not not so much that uh, I was overboard on it. Yeah. How did you get started in wrestling? I think you sort of explained that a little bit with your football coaching background, right? And yeah. Then, the need to have a wrestling coach yeah, at. Yeah, after practice one day, football practice, G.W. Wingo came in and says, Coach, we've got to have a wrestling program. I said, okay, I'll see what I can do. So we got together and, and with a few boys, a couple out of Manteca and a few from Houston, a couple from Turlock, little Fernandez guy, and, uh, and, and Oakdale supplied some. Modesto didn't have any wrestling programs at all in the high school. And so... We started this program. We, we 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 had regular shorts and the high top basketball shoes. We had no equipment at all, and we did get some ear guards, which you had to have. And so, we 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 developed the program, and and it, it got better and better, and and it developed more and more, and and it's it's a wonderful program that we had for a number of years there. Um, what do you attribute? your uh, wrestling success to? Well, the wrestlers. Primarily the wrestlers and the local high school coaches that that, uh, that sent, uh, sent us uh, this material that was developed by them. So they, they, they started fr from scratch and developed their youngsters through the four years that they had them. And then uh, I, uh, I got on a recruiting trips and, and went around and to the different high schools and visited them and told them what we could do for them and and uh, it was a good institution to go to if they're going to go on to a four-year college and 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 they have help financially to go there they should go but uh, if if not come over and we'll see what we can do for you and you'll have a lot of fun with us because our program was based on fun not only work is there one outstanding situation or memory that you have that, that involved wrestling? Uh, well, it was tragic. Tragic where one of the 
youngsters was killed in an automobile accident uh, where we were going to a double duel match over uh, on the Bay Area and a truck pulled out of a out of a, a cafeteria and uh, hit hit the oh. station wagon and and, and, and uh, one of the youngsters was uh, was killed that, that that's that's a tragic end of it see yeah. but otherwise uh, there were a lot of good times there were more good times than were bad times is there um, any match or that ever that stands out in your mind as outstanding yeah, the, the, in fact, one with one of the youngsters that's being a youngster, he's not a youngster anymore, uh, one of the fellows that's being inducted today, Lee Erler, uh, I can remember down at, uh, in Southern California, the state wrestling tournament, the, the community college wrestling tournament, uh, I, I mean, El Camino had six people in the finals, and of course we only had one, that was Lee Erler, and, uh, and, and, and and, and they had won four in a row. Uh, El Camino had run won four in a row, and, and their uh, their next wrestler was the one that was going to go against Lee Erler, and he got warmed up against down at the end of the gymnasium there in the, in the warm up mat, and he was going through all sorts of gyrations and and so forth. And Lee is a laid back guy, you know. He just cool. I mean, nothing bothers him. And so uh, it's when they announced. Uh, the the El Camino's uh, wrestler's name. He went screaming out across the gym onto the gym, uh, the the mat, and did these sit outs and these spins and turns and all this stuff. Then they announced Lee, and Lee Lee has a visual problem, and and he he like he was walking on 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 fresh eggs, you know, just walking out, and he's squinting and walking, and finally he got to the edge of the mat and he tripped tripped and almost fell he caught himself and then when they got him in the middle and said wrestle oh hey he changed altogether he just he just went after that guy and just took him apart and that that, that was an outstanding performance I thought on his part and uh, the enthusiasm that he had when it's time to do the work Dean you probably already answered this but uh why did you decide to become a coach? I think it had something to do with those wrestlers coming Right, to you. right. It, 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 it surely did. It, it, there was nothing inherent in me that said, hey, wrestling is the greatest thing in the world because I didn't know what wrestling was. But I think it's the greatest thing in the world now. It's a, it's a wonderful sport and it teaches a lot of good, good qualities. And uh, a person has to have certain good qualities to be a, continue wrestling. If you could start all over again, what would you do different as a coach, or, or would you? I can't think of anything I would do different, really, uh, 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 unless maybe it was work harder, you know. We were pretty good on a duo matches, but come time for the state tournaments and things, we never won a state championship, see. We, we had an awful lot of wins. I mean, we had more wins than any other coach ever had, uh, junior college coach. but. We never won the big one, and I think probably because we didn't do things going down the road at the end. What would you like people to remember you about you? Well, I was fair. I was fair on, on the wrestle-offs and uh, uh, the individuals, uh, you know, in order to, to wrestle in a meet, and you have somebody your same weight class. They certainly have to be a reason for them to be there, so you have a wrestle-off. And uh, we, we had, and they were fair. They were fair all the way. And, and I, I like to think of myself as being a fair person, not only in the competition between my own people, but uh, with, with the so-called opponent. Is there, did, how did wrestling, has wrestling contributed to your life? How has it contributed to your life? Well, I, I, I really don't know what I'd be if I didn't have wrestling, you know. I started out as, I was a football player and a basketball player and a baseball player, and wrestling I never had any thought of it. And I went through college and went through the program of wrestling over there, the, you know, the regular uh, learning the skills and so forth like that. Not all the skills, but some of them. But then, uh, then when it comes to to what you're doing for a lifetime work, 
I, I started out as a football coach and, and as, a, as a basketball coach. And then this thing came up with these youngsters that wanted a wrestling program. And I saw how much they desired it and how much they needed it. And uh, so that's why I stuck with it. And I think I've gained a lot from sticking with it. Well, again, congratulations on your induction to the California Wrestling Hall of Fame. Thank you. Thank you.